All right, welcome. Um, so, as you may or may not know, I've been spending the past couple of weeks creating a course uh, for you guys on my on the last project that I did. However, um, today I got my very first request on this channel. I could not ignore that. So, this request comes courtesy of Mr. Uh, Mr. Kumar. Um, What's the see what is full name? It's Surrender Kumar. So Mr. Kumar was watching my dynamic tabs in React with Material UI video um, series, and he left me a comment about 16 hours ago and he said create dynamic accordions, first tab open in Material UI. This is my very first uh, request. Cannot deny that can't decline it so mr. Kumar this is for you all right so I this is what we're going to create all right I'm gonna give you a little preview of what it's supposed to to look like all right let's reload here so this is what we're gonna create never mind the pink background okay I had to give it a color I chose pink all right so um, with the click of a button, dynamically we're going to be adding accordions. And as requested, the very first one is expended. All right. So, all right. This is what we're doing. This is what we're going to be doing. Okay. So, how do we do this? Um, again, Material UI, if you're not familiar with it, um, just go to MUI.com. Uh, I'll leave modules uh, that I downloaded that I um, installed okay after you've created your project there's a list of modules that you got installed so I'm gonna leave a, a list of just the basic ones that you need and then you get started so once you once you you've done that you added the the, the core you need also the um, material UI icons um, so let's search for accordions all right so we're not going to go for the basic, we're not going to go to for the com cu uh, customization performance, we're going to go for the controlled accordions, all right? So essentially, um, let's see, which one did I, which one is it? Um, yeah, go, we're going to go for this one, all right? Let me see. If we open the source code... Yes. All right. So let's copy that. We're going to go into our source folder. I'm going to create one name. We're going to create a file named home. We're going to paste that. And in our apps.js, we're going to get rid of demo. We're going to do home. So now. home is completely empty okay so let's clean this up a little bit I'm a sucker for proper indentation I don't know about you guys all right so we do not need all of this all right let's get rid of the ones we don't need first of all let me show you what this looks like right now okay Um, this is what this looks like right now all right it looks pretty ugly let's give it that pink background all right let's get rid of some stuff we don't need let's get rid of the first one rid of the second one we're gonna get rid of all but one all right save show you what that looks like all right, now let's make our page look a little bit nicer. Gonna make our page look just a little bit, little bit, little bit nicer. Okay, so first let's give it that lovely, <laughs> lovely pink <laughs> background. So how are we gonna do that? 
Um, we're going to style it. Inline styling, we're going to give it background color. Um, what color did I choose? F3, F3, so, yeah. All right. We're giving it that pink background. Now that we've given it a pink background, still can't see it yet. Uh, let's, let's give it a height. Can't spell. Still can't spell height. All right. Uh, height, let's say 100 view width, view height. Okay. Now everything is, now we can see that. Is that pink or magenta? Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to import a container. Import container. The container pretty much is, is for styling. We're going to center everything. Uh, container from MUI. All right. And we're going to do container. We're going to give that a little bit of styling also. We're going to give it a width of say 60% of the view width and we're going to say margin, horizontal margin is going to be auto. Yeah, horizontal margin is going to be auto. Actually, no, no, because the container is going to centralize everything in the screen horizontally anyway. So we're just going to give it a uh, padding of five. Is it five? Yeah. yeah, five. All right. Now, compiler problems. I know, I know, I know. Container slash container. Okay, all right, got rid of it. Okay, so now we're going to take all of this. We're gonna call what's, we're gonna create what we call an accordion shell. Okay, so function, function accordion shell. And we'll pass it props return we take all of this and we paste it here now that we've pasted here um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do const we're gonna do expanded we're gonna do title we're gonna do handle change um, uh, handle change. All of that is going to come from props. Our handle change, let's say, let's give it an anonymous function. Um, why, why, why do I, okay, now that it's gone, over here, We're going to do title and over here, we're going to pass title. Um, we're going to get rid of this styling right here. All right. Going to get rid of this. And we're just going to do title. We're getting rid of this also getting rid of everything we don't need give it a little bit of spacing here and yeah we're gonna do child also look yeah we're gonna do child and over here in the accordion details we're gonna do child 
and that's a function, all right? Very important. So now that we've finished, we've pretty much just set up our infrastructure. I'll see you in the next video to see how we make it all work. Stay tuned.